Glory to God. We're, we want to welcome everyone back to part two, an overview of the end time events. Glory to God. I am Pastor Prophet Sharita Berry. Glory to God. We just got finished talking about when will we see the 17th week. And we're going to go recap that again. Daniel the ninth chapter verses 26 says, Alas, to the fact that there is a gap between the 69th and the 70th week. It says that after the 69th week, there will be two events and dissolutions. The first event was when the Messiah will be cut, which was five days after Jesus was honored as the Messiah. The second was the destruction of the city of Jerusalem and the sanctuary, which was the 38th year in 70 AD. Verses 27 says, then the Antichrist will make a treaty with many making the beginning of the 70th week. There have been nearly 2,000 years between the end of the 69th week and today, a season where the church of Jesus Christ has spread across the globe. As we go to Daniel, the ninth chapter, verses 27, it says, then he, it means the Antichrist, shall confirm a covenant with many for one week. But in the middle of the week, he shall bring an end to sacrifice and offering. And on the wing of the abomination shall be one who makes dissolution and even until the consumption consumption which is determined is poured out of the dissolution dissolute. The seven week or final seven years begin with a treaty. The treaty is between the Antichrist and many. It can be that there will be more than one nation. Who enters into this agreement with Israel? See, you got to understand that this this, this seven-year time period is never called the tribulation in the Bible. This is a term that teachers have added to describe the 70th week. In fact, the first half of the 70th week is a peace with Israel. You also got to understand in the middle of the week, the Antichrist turns on the Jews after three and a half years the Antichrist put it into Jewish worship the Jews are no longer able to bring their sacrifice and offering before the Lord this event is called the abomination or dissolution and it occurs three and a half years after the signing of the treaty If we didn't know who the Antichrist was before, we will know who he is at this event. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And then the last three and a half years are referred to as the Great Tribulation. The Antichrist persecutes the Jews and the troubles and troubles increases. So you got to understand this. Just because God foretells what will happen doesn't mean that God has instigated it. Much of what happens in the end is a result of the action of mankind. When will the end come? This is an appointed time for Christ's returns. Daniel 11.35 Let's go over to Daniel. Daniel And I'm coming from the King James Version Bible. Daniel. The 11th chapter. Verse 35. And it says. And some of them of the understanding shall fall. To try them and to purge and to make them white. Even to the time of the end. Because it is. It is. Yet for a time appointed. The gospel will be preached to all nations within the set time. Turn over with me to Matthew, the 24th chapter, verses number 14. Matthew, the 24th chapter. Matthew, the 24th chapter, verses number 14. And it says, And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the nations for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. God is patient, desiring reconciliation. 
Glory to God. 2 Peter 3 and 9 says, The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some count slackness, but is long-suffering toward us, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. James, the fifth chapter, verses 7 and 8 says, Therefore be patient, brethren, until the coming of the Lord. See how the farmer waits for the precious fruit of the earth. Waiting patiently for it until it receives the early and the latter rain. You shall be patient. Establish your hearts for the coming of the Lord is at hand. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And that was our teaching on, to, on tonight. An overview of the end time events. Glory to God. And the scriptures we went over were. And you can read them in your leisure time. Daniel the ninth chapter verses 24 to 27. Isaiah the 46th chapter verses number 10. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Matthew's the 21st chapter verses number 5. Glory to God. Luke the 19th chapter verses 41 to 44. Daniel the ninth chapter verses 26. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Daniel the ninth chapter verses 27. Glory to God. Daniel the 11th chapter verses 35. Matthew the 24th chapter verse 14. 2 Peter the 3rd chapter verses 9. James the 5th chapter verses 7 and 8. Glory to God. God, I thank you for bringing us here on tonight. We do not take this, this day lightly, Lord God, but we thank you for the teaching, Lord God, that we learn on tonight Lord God and may we apply the teaching Lord God to our daily life may we study the word Lord God in the name of Jesus to understand what you're saying in the word Lord God not trying to figure out Lord God what you're doing but understanding what you're doing in this hour Lord God in your word Lord God in the name of Jesus we say amen we thank everyone on tonight for joining us you can log on to our website by going to www.destinyapostoliciintl. I'm sorry, www.destinyapostoliciintl prophetic worship center dot webs webs dot com, or you can log on to www. Dot D A I W C E N T E R dot Weebly dot com. If God has blessed you on tonight and you would like to sow a love offering to support our broadcast, you can do so by logging on to www dot D A I W C E N T E R dot Weebly W E E B L Y dot com and click on the link that says Sow into the Kingdom. Our contact number is 919-438-1473. Our email address is Sharita Bright Ministries at minister.com.